Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to lock an element to the browser window with fixed positioning. Um, uh, the, the next layout scheme that CSS offers is the fixed position, which is a type of absolute positioning that locks an element relative to the browser window. Similar to absolute positioning, it's unused with the CSS offset property. It's used with the CSS offset properties and also removes the element from the normal flow of the document. Other items no longer realize where it is positioned, which may require some layout adjustments elsewhere. One key difference between the fixed and absolute positions is that an element with a fixed position won't move when the user scrolls. The navigation bar in the code is labeled with an ID of nav bar. Change, uh, change its position to fixed and offset it to zero pixels from the top and zero pixels from the left. Notice that the lack of impact to the H1 position, it hasn't been pushed down to accommodate the navigation bar and would need to be adjusted separately. So what it's saying is when we adjust the this nav bar, this element here, to be uh, fixed position, that the rest of the page is going to change because this isn't taking up space anymore. Um, so if we write it in there, what we're looking for is the nav bar. It's the ID for this. The ID is here. It's got home and contact in here. We put a little exclamation point. We can see that home has one uh, exclamation point right there. And so this is the element that we're adjusting. But we're not. We're using the ID of navbar, which correlates to up here. And then so we want to change its position and make that fixed. Um, OK, we want to move it 0 pixels from the top. So we're going to say top 0px. And that's going to move it up to there. And now, did you see what happened when we made it fixed? It was holding it here, but you notice that this paragraph text also moves up because the positioning is no longer calculated in the whole document thing, and now it's just set there. And now there's this little white bump here, too. We want the whole uh, the gray to be covered across the top of the bar. And so we want to move this to the left. We're going to move that and make it zero pixels from the left. And so this gray element here now connects with the top of the bar. And we can run the tests, and everything passed. So uh, yeah, uh, this is an, a better example for a fixed position. Uh, if we go back to Palantir, you can see that this is actually a fixed position uh, navbar, whereas if you went to a website like the New York Times, it would be a this the navbar is not fixed to the page. Um, there you go. That's it. The tests have passed. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one.